Let me guess, you've clicked on this video just because you've been around multiple doctors trying to figure out the reason behind your chest pain. They've done all the examinations they could and they told you nothing's wrong with you. What does that mean? Stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get right into this. I know it's not ideal for me to be sitting and talking to you because the attention span of people nowadays is very depressing. So let me get right into the discussion over here. Now, what kind of pain am I talking about? Before we discuss that, you guys must know that I am not a doctor. I'm not saying I'm a doctor. I'm not saying that I have any knowledge equivalent to that of a doctor. I'm not gonna give any prescriptions over here. I'm just here to tell you about my experience and share with you what I've been through. And maybe, just maybe, you can benefit from this like many other people who have taken some advice from me on this. So. Don't sue me. What is costochondritis? Costochondritis is an inflammation at the sternum or the connective tissue between the sternum. What does that do? That causes pain. This pain is an alarming pain for most people because they think it's related with heart problems. Unfortunately or fortunately, it is not a heart problem and you guys may as well know that by going to the doctors, you got, you got checked, everything's fine, they said no issues with you, so that means you don't have any alarming medical problems. So what does that translate into? It translates into something other than that, which is in this case is called costochondritis. So if you've visited multiple doctors, <clears throat> you have symptoms of sharp pain, waking up with like pain in your chest, back tightness. Um, it can cause your mood to go down the drain. The problem with this um, inflammation is not many people are aware of it and the people that are aware of it or let's say the doctors that are aware of it they do not know how to really treat it so i recommend for chronic injuries listen to someone who has been through that someone who has been living with that in this case it's me right so i am actually into bodybuilding i've done two um, bodybuilding competitions for men's physique so i'm i'm super into athletics sports played soccer all that so when I was 17 I actually got that injury right now I'm 24 so I've had this for quite a while right now I've tried everything and let me tell you what I've tried to help you to avoid that so I've went to the doctors I've got MRIs x-rays I went to physical therapists I've took almost a year off from working out and after the physical therapist has worked with me and we agreed that I should go back I got the green light, next day I go to the gym. Same problem, you find that pain in your chest, the tightness feels like something's ripping. Some people get some popping in the chest. It gets worse with cold weather. Also, it is in a position that is very difficult to relax. What do I mean by that? I mean that it's right by the rib cage. We do breathe to be alive, you know that, right? If you're not breathing, that's an issue. I don't think you're gonna be watching this video at this moment, right? Now, the problem is that you can't really stabilize the joints in that area or the sternum in other words. So the inflammation does not really stop. Now, how do we stop that inflammation? And something that I have been through constantly researching and I've got the answer. And the answer was, first of all, you gotta look into your diet. Now, what do I mean by looking into the diet? Or I, we can even talk about dietary supplements and the supplements that I am going to recommend to you guys in this video are two supplements. To start with, <clears throat> I am not working with any of these companies, but I have been successful enough to find these two specific um, brands very helpful for me, or two specific supplements very helpful for me. First one is gonna be a joint support, and it's, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna drop links for these products in the description box. So you guys can go cop that from Amazon and Omega-3. Omega-3 is found in our food. This in specific is the key ingredient because it has the substances that are found in our joints to help lubricate and smoothen things a bit for people who have pain in their joints. I've been taking these supplements for about four years right now. I have no problems at all in terms of I always get my blood work checked, kidney, liver, everything is okay. So. To me, it's been safe to take these supplements long term. I mean, omega-3, there's definitely no problem with that, but people are worried about taking joint supplements. 
Um, and I can tell you there is no problem with that. If you want to give these a shot, you can. And obviously, I'm, I'm just letting you know what my experience is. I would definitely keep a track of my blood tests, my get my kidney checked and all that to make sure that prolonged use of these items does not harm me. Now, this is an important part of treating costochondritis and I want to push this to the side right now. And I want to discuss more about problems that, or things that lead to costochondritis. In my case, it was excessive exercise. Okay, so I used to do CrossFit along with weightlifting, along with um, soccer, and I keep doing that on and on at a young age when the cartilage is not that hard, it causes these inflammations, and when they happen, it's very hard to treat. So, how do we prevent that? Prevent that by having a well-organized program. You gotta know what you're working on. You don't, you have to know when to stop, when to take a rest day, also very important, you have to stretch before and after. If you guys wanna see some stretches that I do for this specifically, please write down below in the comments. If your diet is pretty garbage, I can assure you, you're gonna have a lot of inflammation in your body. What does that mean? If your carbs are excessive, if you're having like unhealthy fats, all these things, junk food, all that, you know, nonsense the inflammations in your body are going to increase so key to treating injuries in general is to bring the inflammation down mainly you got to drop down the carbs consumption because that's going to help with lowering the inflammation in the body we can talk about this later in another video if you guys want more topics about diet drop a comment now one other thing that is very important is your posture your posture while you sit while you drive while you sleep all that matters because injuries are often aggregates of many bad habits that you do sitting in a specific way over and over again that's kind of a habit that you develop and then once that's developed over time you get injuries that could be with anything it could be with anything you do if you smoke a cigarette one day and then you smoke it another day and then you build up a habit and then the aggregate is that your lungs are gone down the drain so that being said you guys have to watch out for these things you gotta make sure you're stretching Give the supplements, try the supplements. If you don't want to try the supplements, you don't feel good about it, then maybe focus on your diet. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not telling you that this is a cure. I'm just speaking out of my own experience with this. Since I'm still actively pursuing sports until today, lifting, competing, and all that good stuff, and I am I can tell you that I feel great. I barely recognize the pain of this. Some days I even forget that I have that inflammation or that injury. So it really helps to monitor yourself. I hope this has helped you guys. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments section. If you need more content regarding this, please let me know. Um, you've got my socials over here, Instagram, Facebook. Please do not forget to share this video to anyone who might have this injury because it is very frustrating to have. I can tell you that. Thank you guys, and I'm going to see you in another video.